NASA's Artemis program is working to return humans to the surface of the moon for long durations. Then we will use what we learn to take the next giant leap, sending the first astronauts to Mars. And these future human explorers of tomorrow will need to eat. But making food in space is not easy as pie. That's why virtually all the food astronauts currently eat in space is sent from Earth. But what about future astronauts on years-long deep space missions? They'll have to bring everything they'll need with them. Not only the food ingredients themselves, but they'll also need energy, water, and other materials to transform those ingredients into nutritional and tasty meals that they will actually want to eat. That's why NASA and the Canadian Space Agency launched parallel competitions, the Deep Space Food Challenge to reach out to innovators from across the globe to compete for prize money for anyone who can come up with and build novel food production technologies that could be used in space. Lots of new design ideas were brought to the table during the first phase of this competition, from dehydrated foods to cultivated plants and fungi. Several designs were selected as winners of phase one. But now, in phase two of this competition, Teams from across the globe are working to build and demonstrate a working food production technology prototype and even provide samples of their edible creations for expert space taste testers to approve. Not only could this transform space travel, but it could also transform food systems right here on Earth, helping to resolve food insecurities and scarcities across our own planet. At NASA, there can never be too many cooks in the kitchen. So follow along as we all work together to feed interplanetary humans of tomorrow in the Deep Space Food Challenge.